All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give our honor, our praises, our glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakakwadash. All right, Yahweh is the Heavenly Father who the Word only calls God. Yahweh Shai, the only begotten Son who the Word only calls Jesus Christ. I would like to say the water or thank you to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai for the Rakakwadash. The Rakakwadash is the Holy Spirit, which is the driving force behind these lessons. I would like to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and rule well. Peace, blessing, grace, and safety goes out to all that I came around the world preaching and teaching his word and truth and in sincerity. Shalom on to the old for elect. All right, start your call coming back with another video, and I'm going to do a response. All right, uh, to the video, video you see here on the screen that I have up. All right, it's from the uh, elder Atazawam. All right, and uh, up there in Minna Valley, uh, Jersey. All right, the beautiful uh, elder Atazawam did a beautiful edifying video go check this out all right and it says news and prophecies prophecy unvanessed soon to be declared enemies of the state all right now brothers and sisters in the know know what we are speaking of when we speak up, upon the words uh uh vanessa all right or marcus okay and the brothers uh <clears throat> the elder thousand one was going into that okay and about the how to unvanessed soon to be declared enemies of the state and that was just sparking in my mind, okay, uh, to do this lesson that I'm about to get into. And I'm going to title it, uh, From Vanessa to Marcus, all right? <laughs> From Vanessa to Marcus, okay? And that's what Esau Edom is planning to do, have us go from Vanessa to Marcus, okay? So, you know, I'm just going to grab a couple of scriptures. I don't want to write this out of fine. This is a Revelation 12 and 12. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil is come down unto you having great wrath. Because he, because he knoweth that he had but a short time. So Esau Edom knows that they have a short time to try to usher in their new world order. Alright, because the, uh, the men of the Lord, alright, the men that the Lord set up to go out and preach his word or out on the highways and byways prophesying the prophecies that's written in the bible to befall babylon the great and various other places so esau edom know if that's happening <clears throat> then the return of the messiah is nigh all right and they're uh coming down with great wrath because they know they have a short time that's why they're gonna uh trying to get everybody to deal with vanessa okay to get them ready to deal with Marcus. All right. <laughs> this is Revelation 13 and 11. And I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth. And he had two horns like a lamb. And he spake as a dragon. All right. And this represents uh, Babylon the Great. Right here. Because they uh, they got horn two horns like a lamb. Which represents their two political parties. All right. And it represents them trying to uh, pretend like they're coming humble. Okay. Like a lamb. But really, they're going to start speaking as a dragon. Because if you watch uh, this video that the beloved elder did, all right, he goes into articles and different things telling you, all right, explaining how uh, they're going to make uh, Vanessa mandatory, man. And then ultimately, they're going to make Marcus mandatory. It's as simple as uh, uh, to see, man, if you have that spiritual eye. All right, they're going to come down hard with this Vanessa, and then they're going to come down hard with that uh, Marcus. It says, and he exercised all the power of the first beast before him and caused the earth and them which dwelt therein to worship the first beast whose deadly wound was healed. So Babylon the Great wants everybody to worship with that Roman Empire because that was the beast that was healed or whose deadly wound was healed. It says, and he doeth great wonders so that he maketh fire come down from heaven on the earth in sight of, the, sight of men. All right, goes into America with their, uh, their fighter jets. <clears throat> uh, verse 14 and deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast yeah you saw Edom got all kind of technology uh, and all different kind of things to make it seem like the things that they're doing are, are miracles it says saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast which had the wound by a sword and did live all right and the american dream is the image of the beast man it's different philosophies very different various different images of the beast man it's not one picture of something verse 15 and he had power to give life into the image of the beast that the image of the beast should 
both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. All right. And this Vanessa is one of the images of the beast. All right. And they're coming down hard and it's going to come to a point where they're going to outcast and demonize you for not dealing with Vanessa. And then they're going to usher in Marcus and they're going to kill your ass if you don't deal with Marcus. Okay. It said, and he caused all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. And there go Marcus right there. All right. This is what Esau Edom plan, uh, planning to do. All right. And us brothers out there are prophesying, telling our people to come to their power so they can have the strength and faith in Yahweh Bashim al to not deal with Vanessa and Marcus. Okay. It says, and he calls all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. All right, and that's what Esau Edom want to do, man. Verse 17, that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. All right, and that's what is going to go on, man. That no, they're going to make it to where no man can buy or sell, save he got, he's dealing with Marcus, man. All right, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Okay, and uh, I got to wrap it up. So I'm going to just bring out this last precept. Ephesians 6 and 11, put on the whole armor of the Most High. All right, put on the whole armor of Yahweh that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. So we got to put on this armor of Yahweh by Shemiah Shai and trust and have faith not to deal with Marcus and Vanessa because Esau, Edom is about to make it mandatory to deal with them. All right, so go check out the elder video. It's beautiful and edifying. All right, call Halal Yahweh by Shemiah Shai. Shalom.